Hello everyone! In today's video, I am going to be doing a Sims 4 create sim You may notice that I am not the same narrator that usually does these videos. That is because I am going to be the other person to do these videos on this channel. So, I'm not completely new to YouTube, I have done a couple videos on this channel before, like the Glorioso and Wood Woodlands Bunder review. So, I hope you enjoy my videos just as much as you enjoy the other ones. So, let's just get into the create a sim. My sim that I created today was one single sim who is a vampire. I named her Countess Ebony Fallen because I thought that sounded mysterious and regal. And I always seem to name my vampires or witches. If it's The Sims 3, I name my witches <laughs> Ebony, so that's just what I seem to do. <laughs> I gave her the hair from City Living without the head thing, and I gave her those red glowing eyes. And then I had a bit of problem with the skin that I had because I was trying to give her the vampire markings, I guess they would be called, which are like the teeth and the cracks on the face, but I couldn't give it with the skin that I gave her, so I had to change the skin a couple of times to finally figure out what I wanted to give her, and so it would show up. I gave her the top from Vampires and those pants which I'm pretty sure are just from the base game and then I went on to the shoes which I just used the boots from City of Living which Miko has <laughs> I don't know why I remember that but I just do and then I gave her makeup to her formal wear and I like this top from Va the dress from vampires but it's just that weird back thing that I decided not to use it for her formal wear and I gave her the one from uh, City Living. And then I gave went on to her sleepwear and athletic wear which were very simple. And then I went on to her party wear which I decided to give her the top that dress that outfit from vampires. And then her swimwear was just a one-piece bathing suit. And then I went on to her dark form, which I wanted to make her more creepy and elegant, I guess. And I gave her, as you can see, those black, the ones that the whites are black for her eyes. And then I gave her that hair from vampires. And I gave her a different top. And, and then when I went on to her dress, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to give her. And I was really thinking the one from Vampire since I like, I like the dress. It's just the weird plasticky looking thing that she has. Lilith Vator has it for her dark form, but it's, or, or I think it might be her formal. I'm not sure. So I was really contemplating this dress, but I just didn't think it was creepy enough. So I tried a couple other things and then I gave her that I settled on the dress that Lilith had finally <laughs> because I really wanted to use it but it's just the weird back thing that I don't like and then I gave her the loner mean and kleptomaniac trait and I made her that she wants to be the master vampire and then I as I said named her so I hope you enjoyed this quick creative sim of Countess Ebony Fallen and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!